In this short video, we look at how to manage contacts. That's all of the addresses associated with all of the jobs that you have got. Let's say that you are undertaking an EICR for a new client named Mrs. Robinson. We don't have any client details for her, so we enter those now. When we have finished, we have the options of saving these details to our contacts. And here they are, now saved in the contacts table. A short while later, you undertake another job for Mrs. Robinson. But this time, you don't have to type the client details out. Just search and select them from your contacts list. Here is the contact that you want. And here are the client details all filled in. What if I want to update a contact? Change a phone number for Mrs. Robinson, for example. First, I'll search for Mrs. Robinson's details. I don't even have to remember the whole name. Just a part of it will do. Here is the record that we want. Now we can change that phone number. Note that because we filled in client details for Mrs. Robinson, the relevant box is automatically ticked. Contacts can be searched by type of contact, which means that Mrs. Robinson will appear in our list of clients. And here she is. Now let's search for another type of contact. This time, we want a list of the constructors. And here they are. Being able to filter like this is really helpful when you have a big address book. 